Hello, and welcome, welcome to the pet room. Oh, I need to go to the far end here to begin the process of getting ready to potentially get things where I can get the the disk drive piles done. And what do I have here? Well now that of course shopping sorry plastic bags have been deemed evil. I have a pile of shopping bags that I'm now putting into a bigger shopping bag. Which I will then but not right now, take out to the car, because of course what happens, I forget to take them to the car, then I don't have them in the car, and then I have to get more. So there are a bunch of them here. Hang in there. Okay, so we have the bags of bags. All right, now, maybe you can see this. Look. Oh. It's the box from a Commodore 64, and it has been shipped. It was a Canadian Tire Rust Repair customer property, and it was actually used or shipped in this very box because on the outside is the, the packing label thing and everything. Oh, God, what is this? Oh, okay. I have here a bag that can be recycled. It can be. So, I will put it in the recycling. Now, one would think that soon I will be there. But I'm not there yet. Here, I just moved a Toronto Maple Leafs poster thing. It's Maple Leaf Gardens. Anyway, see, things happen. The other thing that happened is I was in a... Um, a thrift store of all things and I found they had some big Home Depot boxes uh, that they were selling at a lot less than what they would go for at Home Depot so yes I got them and I stuck them here because I know or I knew that I would need them of course, have I used them yet? No, here's a light. Oh, and it goes on. I'm not sure if that is helpful. So how many of these boxes did I get? Oh, it looks like six. Well, oh. All right, and there is a pizza box that can indeed go for recycling. All right, now maybe possibly, maybe. Oh, oh. oh. water for the fridge. I'm almost to the point where you might actually see me. What is this box? I don't know. Oh. Okay. We're getting there. Oh my. Here is a very badly damaged 
box from a Vic 20. Oh, uh -huh. that's funny. For many years, I've collected these things. They're for holding books and magazines made of cardboard. I never used them. But what they did come in handy for is when I was stacking up pets, I put them between them. All right, also, oh my. Uh, I picked up, oh God, some snazzy napkins, and somehow they're here. They're paper. They're for the fall. I'm not sure which fall that I got them in. Anyway, I'll take them to the kitchen. And for the moment, I'll just put them down in front of the microwave. <sighs> because I can. Now, another thing here is a light. There are actually three lights here to light things up. Some of them have the X10 adapter things. They do. But right now, see here's one. I use this sometimes because it lights up the whole, like it does a little light in here, a little light in the hall, a little light in the kitchen. A little light it just it's like kind of like a night light and now with led bulbs using so little electricity that's a good thing anyway i'm gonna move this out of the way oh there's a ping pong ball penny likes ping pong balls penny let's go penny all right now, there's a box here, and it's a banker's box. Ugh. Okay, I'm coming around. I'm coming around. Ugh. Because it is a box that is vital to this room. And what's in it, I know you can't see it, and you can't see me. But don't worry, oh my, okay. This is definitely historic. We'll look at it again sometime. It is um, genuine parts from the Bradley Brothers bulletin board system, including an 8010 modem or two, the special answer circuits that we had to build, or have built. We had them built to answer the phone because you couldn't have things attached to the phone according to Bell Canada. All right, what do we got here? Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's a box for fifteen forty-one. Oh dear. It looks to be in pretty fine shape. Oh. So now I'm almost to what I came for. And that is not this box. This box has got to go down. It's the box. I'm a Commodore 128. Oh, beautiful thing. All right, so if I remember rightly, and I think I do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 22 dual drive. The one on the top here, which you really can't tell, the top of it is really not attached. But it made it nice and symmetrical, so I went with it. I'm trying to see here. Okay, 80, 50, 80, 50, 80. Okay, so a lot of these are the ones here, over here, that I added to the pile from the other room to get things going. So what I need to do is get these moved so I can get back to the 4040s. 
and see what just run them through one more test etc i think i will make a trip to home depot to get some screws to secure them well that was easy and then figure out which ones are staying which ones are going oh, that is the plan in the pet room anyway i have the way clear but now of course i've made a bit of a mess out in the hallway here especially with these lights so oh okay this light oh my okay this light here i'll never it's plugged in behind the table so i'll never get it sorted this one is not i have a power bar here of course and it has an x10 module on it because that is how i would control these remote lights that i couldn't get out so that won't do any harm there Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Things are tight here. What is this other light? Okay, this is this other light. Oh. Oh. That has a stand. It's really, I got it for photography. And it too is a good thing. But I think for the moment. Oh, okay. It will go higher. There we go. It has all kinds of things here that I can minimize it. So I can fold it up. I think I can. It should fold up. Oh, come on. Don't give me a hard time here. Okay. Okay. Good. Hi, Penny. Oh, don't tell me the bottom thing much. Doesn't want, oh, the screw doesn't want to go in. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Anyway, here is that light. It's now all compacted down and without doing any damage it too. And just come and sit here. Oh dear. I hope there's no damage to be done. And the two has an X10 module on the end. Oh, what is this? Oh. All right, the power bar is now pretty much done with. So I can put it up out of the way, I think, and not have it cause trouble. Of course, what's out here in the hall? Got a Commodore monitor that I need to test. Ugh. I wish, I wish, I wish I could get this lamp out of the way, but I can't, I cannot, and this one thing keeps pestering me here. Oh, yeah. Indeed, this is Freddy Krueger. And he's sticking out some. So, as I try and sneak through here, oh, his feet are pestering me. Whew, oh my. What have I done? All right. Oh, yeah. 
All right, I suppose what I should do so that I can consider this journey a minimal success. Because every journey, no matter how long, must start with one step. I need to get this disk drive off of here. But then I also need to have a place to set it. And it is a tenuous thing here. It's one that has a built-in cord. But the top... Oh, dear. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, you got to watch when you do these things. Because the screws stick out some, and they can do damage. Wait, is this cord to this one? It is not. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, yeah. I'm good. They have, oh, they have feet on them, which is all good. Oh. But they also have screws sticking out, and you got to be careful. I have a bad feeling. Although this one doesn't look, too. oh, it's a 40-40. Oh. I think I might have marked this one up a bit. Maybe not. Oh, okay. All right, this journey to this point is a success. I have access and I have moved one disk drive. Now, I have more things to do because now all those big boxes that I haven't used yet are now in the way. But I think I have the lamps and things sort of out of the way. Oh. Oh. So, it has begun. Thanks for being here. David Bradley from the Pet Room, signing off. Bye for now.